Okay, as promised, Da Vinci's in-depth review. Today, I'm gonna run through all the possibilities, well, most that we experience on a daily basis. This is a 4K timeline, and I'm gonna layer them up in 25 layers, because I really wanna test the limit of this laptop. And speaking of the laptop, uh, I've left it on the screen. And all of the footage I stored on this SanDisk 3.2 Gen 1, uh, so maximum speed roughly around 7 to 800 megabytes per second. There's a lot to get through, so let's get started, okay? First off, one clip, H265, 4K, 50 FPS on a 4K timeline, no problems. Here, let's go do another test. I have 13 layers of the same footage stacked together in increments. So let's see how many layers it takes for it to actually drop frames. Playback, this is four layers, seems to be fine. Seven layers, it's okay as well. Let's step it up to 13 layers and let's see how it does. Wow. That is amazing. Uh, just to let you know, this is playback is on full. There is no uh, render cache. I'll just delete that just for your peace of mind. But of course, this there's no LUTs, there's no denoiser, there is no grain, there is no sharpening, etc. Uh, but I'll get into that in a sec. But let's just take this to another level, right? That's 15. Okay. 20 footage and it looks fine. 25 layers and we can still play back fairly smoothly. So let's apply some LUTs and see how this does. Okay, I'm gonna, I've got adjustment layer here. So I've got exposure, uh, white balance, I've got sharpening as well. I've also added some film grain and then we've got a denoiser here at three frames. Let me just show you and play back right now without the denoiser uh, and see what happens. It's pretty good. We're still getting a 25 frame per second with LUTs and grain applied. Uh, let's take it to the extreme. Okay, we're, we're, we're chugging now. 25 frames, I don't think we can take it with, with the grains, LUTs applied to it. Uh, we're getting very low frames. Let's apply the denoise. Remember before we're at 25? Now we're at about 15. We've lost about 10 frames. With four frames, we're getting around 14 frames, so we lost about another frame. Let's go over with 13 4K footage at the same time with the noise applied. Okay, we're getting about 13 frames. So we lost another two frames. So we are losing frames. What if we turn on the proxy mode? Let's go to say half and let's play that back. And once again, we're at 25 frames. So that's pretty impressive, right? Let's go to 20 layers and let's have a look. Still pretty smooth with the noise applied. 25, now we're slowing down. This is like PPT level. Let's go to playback to quarter resolution and play. Okay, 15 frames, super smooth. 20 frames, we're good as well with denoiser applied. 25, we're good to go. So as long as you're playing back on a quarter resolution, um, we're pretty good for a daily editing program. Right, we even with all the LUTs applied to it. Okay, let's move to the next one. 10-bit, 422, H.264, 25 FPS. So let's try it with the same adjustment layer. So same LUTs, denoiser and grain. Playback. Not as good as H.265, actually. Well, I think we're getting around, you know, drop frames. So around 10 frames. We were getting 15 before. And let's try with 25. Yeah, we're getting about seven frames, but I think we're getting probably one or two frames. This is PowerPoint level, <laughs> pretty much a PowerPoint level. <laughs> uh, but what if we turn off the LUTs and see what happens? 25 layers, wow. It plays back pretty smooth, right? not a problem. Let's turn the LUTs back on. And with the denoiser, let's turn the proxy mode on. Let's go to quarter resolution in 4K and let's play back. It's a lot better, it's at 25. It's smooth, 25 frames per second. So as long as your playback is at quarter resolution, you're able to run this. Okay, let's try some 8K footage. One layer of 8K footage, you know, H265, 25 FPS, plays back fine, right? Two layers, pretty smooth. Three 8K footage, not bad. Oh, there we go. We're starting to stutter. And, and four layers, well, there you go. It's not something you want to take home and show your mom, right? It's nothing to be proud of. Let's add some denoiser, uh, the same adjustments, the LUTs, the grain, and see how well it does. Okay, so we're about nine frames already uh, for one AK footage, right? And if you have two, then 
yeah, yeah. It's just not doable, right? Let's turn down the timeline resolution to about quarter proxy mode, and let's have a look. Okay, so now I play smooth for one footage. Let's see two AK footage. Pretty smooth, pretty smooth. And three? Yeah, around the same time, I think we're slowing down again. So I think we're at the limit right now, right? So if you wanna have denoise on, if you want to have all the effects and LUTs on, put the proxy mode to about quarter and you're okay for about two, three layers. Now let's look at some coloring page effects that we like to use. Let's just track my face. Draw here. That's pretty quick and let's track. Eight or nine frames, right? 10 frames per second for a feature tracking uh, mode in DaVinci. Uh, okay, let's go to another one. Let's go to face refinement. I'm gonna show overlay. Let's see how fast you can recognize my face and follow through. Okay, this is much faster. This is around 15, probably more. And it's doing a pretty good job. Add a bit of blush, add a bit of size. There you go. I think I had too much to drink the other night. Let's go to the next one. I have a couple of AK footage that I've done in Fusion. This is a very quick job, so please don't <laughs> critique the quality of the, the work. But I just wanna show you what I've done here. So I've actually got a footage uh, of a hotel room. I've got a Luma Kia right here. Uh, see, there you go. And I've also got a planner tracker. So I've tracked it. So now it looks like you know I'm moving through the window and I've got this you know, futuristic background happening in the back. I just wanna show you how quick this tracker is, right? So let me turn this off. By the way, if you wanna see DaVinci tutorials, you can leave a comment. I'm happy to make some for you guys, but, uh, but this is not a tutorial. Just very quickly, I'm gonna track this scene and let's go, right? And this is playing back, I think at full frame, right? This is real time. So that is quite impressive. It's, it's really good, right? Create a planner transform node. Just add that in, and we've got a footage that is tracked, and it's playing back real time with color grading. And this is the 8K footage in a 4K timeline. I think it's because, okay, there you go. That's probably why. I apologize. My playback resolution was at a quarter. So let's go to full, and okay, it's, it's lagging a little bit. We're about, you know, I think about half. So just turn off your playback resolution to a quarter, and wow, Bob's there uncle. If this is still not enough, you can run the same thing in a 1080 timeline, so everything else is even reduced. You can do the playback setting in a quarter resolution, right? But you're still gonna get lag in the AK department, right? AK department, you are still going to lag where you're meant to lag. Okay, now finally, I have a real life edit. So you can see here, this is uh, one of the shows we run here. You can see we've got three layers of footage that we're most likely to see in a multi-cam situation. Uh, this is the 4K timeline and all the footage are different. So I have a H265 in a 60 frame per second, 4K. The second layer is the same footage, but in 24 frames. Now the third one is a H264 in 30 frames. So if you're scrolling through, it's pretty, pretty good, right? It's quite snappy and you can make a lot of edits and not a problem at all. Playback in full, right? This is not proxy mode and this is 4K. Um, also, the effects are all turned on, okay? The only thing that's not in here, I think, is denoise, but everything else plays back pretty good. Subtitles, we've got credits, we've got some effects, uh, pretty subtle, but overall it's just a fairly good, um, you know, straight cut. And then let's see how long it takes to render it out. This is a seven minute and 36 second footage. Go. And there we go. We finished in three minutes and 54 seconds. So on my desktop PC, I run an AMD 5800X with a 3060. It took a little bit faster, right? So this is just like Pac-Man munching through the, like, give me more 4K footage, right? He just eats it through. So I'm pretty impressed. Just under four minutes for a seven and a half minute 4K footage export in H.264. So I think this overall is a fairly capable machine, right? as expected. How capable? Well, I think through this test, I think I demonstrated that, you know, if you're running a 4K footage edit, a uh, couple of layers with, you know, a proxy playback in quarter or half resolution, you can get away with like eight or 10 even higher layers of footage, right? Which most likely we're not gonna be able to use. But if you're an 8K editor, two, three layers, more than two layers in a normal H.264, H.265 user, you're gonna chug, you're gonna lag along, right? 
To be honest, I think even the base model, the 14 inch uh, with the 16 gb RAM, uh, the Pro model is pretty good investment as well. So if you want a bigger screen, go for the 16 inch, but if you want portability, the 14 inch, bang for buck, I, I highly recommend the 14 inch as well okay so hopefully this was helpful do please share if you think it's uh, helpful for you or the people around you uh, and do like this video uh, if that helped you in any way okay i'm george hope to see you next time peace